Hi guys, this is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. I'm on Highway 281 going to Wally World or somewhere. Just wanted to touch base with you, a quick video, and let you know that everything is going great in my little RV. It's Thursday morning, uh, November the 2nd, 2017, about, uh, what time is it? It is, and I quote, 930, temperature 68 degrees. It'll be in the 90s today, and the rest of this week it'll be the same. But anyway, that is Central Texas. But what I wanted to touch on briefly is, number one, I wanted to check and see if there, this thing has a clicking noise in the video. That's one. And then two, just a quick update. I've lived in my new Clipper Cadet 16 CFB, my 2018 Coachman Clipper Cadet 16 CFB, for about three weeks. I got it on October the 14th. This is November the 2nd. So that is 19 days. So lacking two days has been three weeks. So what have I noticed? Number one, I've noticed this. I do not need a oven, an oven, okay? Getting by perfectly fine without it, that's one. Getting by fine without a microwave or a convection oven also, do not need them. I have a toaster and a two burner stove and so far so good, no complaints on that. So there's a lot of stuff that people get and think they need, but they really don't. I'm 72 years old, I've lived in an RV for 25 years or more. And so anyway, and I've always had an oven, I've always had a big TV, and I've always had a microwave. But now I've found out I don't really need all that crap. And another thing we'll get back to now is what about TVs. I got a, I wasn't going to get a TV because it doesn't come with a TV. It doesn't come with a lot of stuff, and that's why I bought it. Uh, it comes with, uh, well, virtually nothing. It's got a two-burner stove and window air conditioner, okay? And, but I bought me a 12 volt, 110 volt, either one or the other, 19 inch R RCA TV. Works fine, works great, got a good picture, good sound for me, it's fine. However, I'm finding out that I do not need it and that's why I'm going to Walmart today to get me some earbuds or whatever you call them for my phone. Why? Because uh, I can use my phone to watch uh, videos and movies just as well as I can watch that TV. And uh, I actually enjoy it. Uh, I mean, I can watch Gunsmoke on my smartphone. I've got a big screen, 5.7 inch smartphone, and it works just fine for me. So, I'll probably uh, not eliminate the TV, but it will not be used very much at all. And that's enough said about that. Now, what happens though is people, we get caught up in all this technology in younger ages as we're coming up, uh, as we are running fast on the hamster wheel, we want to acquire uh, not only a 19 inch, but a 26 inch, and a 32 inch, and then a 48 inch, and a 54 inch, and a 62 inch TV, and then we move on up to OLED, and then we move up to Super HD, and then we move up to smart TVs, and we've got a house full of TVs because we've kept up. But we don't keep them in the house, we go get a storage building and put the, all that crap in the storage building because we don't have any place to put it and we don't want to throw it away because we paid good money for it, but it is now worthless, okay? So, if you try to keep up, you're gonna to have to run on the hamster wheel, okay? Have I ever done that? Yes. Uh, will I do it again? No, but I'm 72 years old. See, I'm already out of the rat race. Anyway, I'm gonna pull in here and I'll end the video. I just, this is a quickie. But I just wanted to give you a heads up that, you know, when you're looking at RVs, you know, the sound systems and, you know, indoor speakers and outdoor speakers and on the roof speakers and around the RV speakers and TVs on the inside, outside and inside, outside barbecue pits and, you know, and, and uh, restrooms that, you know, hang out the window and, I mean, or slide in, slide outs, you know, all that stuff, if you want it, you're going to pay for it. Do you need it? No. Everywhere there's an opening, there can be a leak. That's all I can tell you. And the more you drag it up and down the highway, you're going to find that out. <clears throat> every time you cut a hole in the roof hello water you know and what else this is walmart in marble falls texas i'm just cruising around here to burn a little daylight while i look for a place to park right over here will be good i can park where i can easily get out i think yeah this will do for me right here but anyway uh the Coachman Clipper Cadet 16 CFB is working great for me. And also I wanted to give you a, a little pat on the back, all you guys that have used the Amazon link. This is my advertisement. And uh, uh, for all of you that have used the Amazon link, I sincerely appreciate it.
every little bit helps for those of you that don't know what the hell I'm talking about because you're new to this channel let me just say that I am an Amazon affiliate and what that means is uh, I get a little commission if you use the link in the description and go to Amazon and buy anything okay if you buy anything during that shopping session I get a small commission okay which is great and my camera's not straight but that's all right anyway uh, so it helps me it doesn't cost you anything additional and uh, so do it if you want to what else uh, as, as to full-time RVing all you guys that are thinking about doing it good luck with that because all that glitters isn't gold I'm not saying it's negative but here's something I want to point out whenever you end up out in the boondocks or in the national forest or wherever you're gonna go I don't care if it's an RV park and you step outside uh, with the intention of maybe eating a hot dog or fixing a hot dog outside on your outside barbecue grill just remember that the insects don't know who you are and even though you're going to use every uh, thing known to keep insects off of you natural and man-made and everything else uh, they don't know that and they're still going to get to you trust me they will I mean you may think the best thing to do is wear a long sleeve shirt wear a hat or head cover of some kind long pants uh, with socks and uh, you know spray around your feet and stuff you'll be okay but if you go out there in a pair of shorts a t-shirt or no shirt hello body you know you're just a walmart that walked outside your rv and every insect out there wants some products off of your body and they're going to get them i guarantee you they are and then you got plants all kind of plants you got poison ivy poison oak you got prickly pear cactus you got everything in the world out there that will either stick you or sting you and uh, that's the way it goes so, you know, but that's that's kind of the downside, and I'm not being negative. There are some beautiful sunrises, beautiful sunsets, and some very quiet remote places where you can enjoy the hell out of yourself with very, 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 very few insects. Because out in the desert, knock on wood, there are very few insects. Uh, however, there are, if you get around the cedar where there's a lot of juniper or cedars, there's a little lovely little gnat called a cedar gnat. Some people call it a no see -um, but those little boogers will drive you to drink it. I guarantee you, for me, that's a very short drive. But anyway, having said that, just wanted to give you a quick heads up on RVing, uh, the things you don't need, you know, or, the, you know, that you may not need, that you, you know, I, now for me, I'm 72. Again, and I know you younger people, you know, you were born with microwaves in your presence. You were born with all these cute little things and big TVs. And, you know, and you feel like that's a necessity. Uh, I just want to give you a wake up call. It's not, it's not, you know, we didn't even have a TV when I was growing up. Did it make any difference? Yeah, I, I feel better about life, for one thing. My head wasn't filled with a lot of negativity by the time I was 10 years old because the talking heads on the news media were there all day long pumping crap into my brain. But having said that, guys, from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpe diem, adios. Bye, 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 USA, made when you can. Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It will help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it will help you lose weight because you'll feel full. Take deep breaths in through your nose. Hold it for a few seconds, breathe out through your mouth, do that several times a day. Why? Because that relieves stress. Relieving stress does what? What, 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 what? Lowers your blood pressure. Lowers your blood pressure, makes your heart last a little longer. You'll live a little longer healthily. Then what? Stretch, walk, keep your body in motion, man. I mean, move, move, move. I just finished an hour walk, now I'm here at Walmart, and I try to park about as far away as I can from the front door. Why? Because I can walk some more, that's why. And uh, that's all it is, guys. So just keep your health, and uh, I'm working on mine. And uh, so anyway, Enjoy your day. Just a quick video. Enjoy. Bye-bye.